Hello ladies and gents, Silicon Wolverine here with another reloading video. Today we're going to take a look at my 357 Magnum Sabo round. Um, this is something I came up with when I was experimenting with Sabos a long time ago and I've just gotten around doing video on it now. This is a 38 special case with an MMP muzzle loader Sabo and a 110 grain 30 caliber rifle bullet. Uh, for propellant we are using our good old blue dot powder. We are using Plastic MMP four pedal muzzle loader sabos, 36 caliber, and we are using Sierra 110 grain hollow point flat base 30 caliber rifle bullets. Okay, and I'm using 38 special brass so it has the correct overall length for 357 Magnum. Um, if you use a lever action or single shot like a Rossi mare's leg, you can make these in 357 Magnum, but you can't use them in a 357 revolver and you can't increase the charge anymore because we're already maxing it out so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to use 357 brass. Um, use standard CCI primers, you know not magnums, regular primers. And I'll hold this up close here, you can see this case is really heavily, heavily flared. Uh, you have to do that so the MMP Sable will fit. Um, the gas seal on the bottom of the Sable needs a real wide mouth to fit in there. Okay, we'll throw our charge, 12 and a half grains of blue dot. Now I must say, do not deviate from the 12.5 grains. That is it, do not go any higher. That is the absolute maximum charge to get the most velocity out of this package. If you back it off any, you're basically replicating a 110 grain 38 special load. Um, out of my six inch barrel Colt Trooper target, this is making about 2300 feet per second. Out of my Rossi mare's leg with a 14 inch barrel, this is making about 2800 and change. Um, this is a wicked fast pistol load. If you use it in a mare's leg or comparable gun, you have to single load. This is a pointed spitzer bullet in a magazine tube. It will set the primer off in front of it. Okay, so we've got our case charged with 12 and a half grains of powder. Take your 110 grain flat base bullet and your Sabo, insert it, and it will take a little bit of work to get the Sabo to start in the case. And be careful you don't cut the gas skirt of the Sabo in the case mouth. Take it and run it up in your press, and you will have to twist this with your fingers until all of the Sabo pedals go up inside the die. If you, if you just round it up in there, one of the pedals will grab the edge of your seating die and cut off. Run it up in until the pedals of your sable are just a skosh below the mouth of the case. Um, you will need a really heavy crimp on this to hold the sable and bullet in place using the Leaf Factory crimp die. Your overall length measured with your caliber will be 1.601. This is another thing you do not deviate. Any deeper seating will radically alter your pressure. Okay, we've got our Lee 38357 factory crimp die installed on the press, and we'll run this up through. Now, so you can see this, you need to have a very noticeable crimp. This is required for this load to keep the bullet in pl bullet sable in place and to allow proper ignition of the slow burning blue dot powder. That bullet has to be tightly crimped. That, uh, that's another, th I mean, this is, this load is very very specific in its procedures in how things need to be done to make sure that it ignites and operates properly you or you won't get consistency you won't get accuracy and you won't get velocity and that is about it for my sable load um, once the weather improves here a little bit we're going to get some range footage um, i have tested a quite a few of these cartridges i am confident in their safety um, depending upon the chamber and your particular weapon, you might get a few cartridges cases that stick. Um, I do recommend if you're going to shoot a lot of these, uh, polish your chambers with some flits and a uh, bore mop. That really, really improves your extraction because these are right at maximum load. Um, I don't recommend you do this unless you're an experienced reloader. This is not a project for a starting reloader. Um, this is, like I said, this is a maximum load. You are right at the limit of what we can do and accomplish with the 357 Magnum. 
Uh, once again, thanks for the views. Thanks for watching. This is Silicon Wolverine, and we will see you next time.